Cheyenne Jackson came into the competition with a firm game plan. Everybody knows me as, you know, the, the hunky, sexy guy who sang Elvis music, or the hunky, sexy guy who sang ELO music. And, you know, I want to show people that I am the hunky, sexy, put out the guy. Cheyenne's reliance on his exceptionally good looks backfired in our Pete Aqua selling challenge. So sweet and nice, Piragua. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Some of the other competitors did not respect his muscle flexing strategy. Cheyenne, you know, he came in and he's really good looking, and a lot of people think he has a chance to win this, and but I feel like he is kind of toxic. He'll say one thing to one person, and he'll say another thing to another person, and then he'll come on our backs and say stuff, and I don't think that's the way to win this either. I feel like, you know, the winner of this should have heart, and I don't think he has heart at all. That tall guy, Cheyenne, he's a good looking kid and everything, but you know, he's just going off his looks. Me and Cheyenne was just rapping a he, he thinks he's bad, and I'm like, dude, he's got like, big guns and stuff, but he ain't So I was like, yo, buddy, you know, he's like, yo, let's have a PK contest, a PK turn contest. I was like, dude, and he really thought he could beat me in a PK turn contest. He doesn't think that anymore. And the judges were not impressed. If I didn't call your name, you must immediately report to the casting office where the judges are waiting for you. I believe that your body wants to sell me a Paragua, but I, I need to see it in your eyes. This is a big theater. Cheyenne redoubled his efforts. Piragua, Piragua, new block of ice, Piragua, Piragua, Piragua. So and the Piragua Adonis picked up a few key supporters on the judges' table. With Cheyenne, it's, it's like the Archangel Gabriel flew down from heaven to sell me a Piragua. I've never heard Cheyenne sing. I've seen photos. I think he's wonderful. I think if Cheyenne worked with me privately, I think I could get him, you know, I think if, is he, will he watch this? Because I think if he call, any kind of contact I could have with him, I think could help him. Any, any kind of physical, any contact I could have with him could help him, help me, help him. But his biggest supporter came in the smallest of packages, Robin De Jesus. Cheyenne Jackson! <laughs> oh my God! I get like like um like um like homo thuggish thoughts of him. It just it just it's amazing. I love him so much. I hope he gets cast in the show. I want to work with him every day of my life. <laughs> in a legally brown shocker. Robin turned his back on Eliseo, who had become increasingly threatened by Cheyenne's presence. Let's watch Robin's previously unaired thoughts on his fellow cast member. Eliseo, I oh know, I love Eliseo. He's, he's really great. I just, I really feel like Eliseo is, um, would be much better as an understudy. I, I really feel like Cheyenne has what it takes and i rather watch Ellie watch Cheyenne from the wings. Cheyenne Jackson. Does he really need another job? Really? My job? Enough said. Robin's enthusiasm became a double-edged sword for Cheyenne, as he and Robin became literally attached at the hip. New block of ice, Piragua, Piragua, Piragua. So sweet and nice, Piragua. Robin was wrapped around my waist and that makes it hard because anytime there's a person wrapped around your waist it makes it hard to sell flavored ice but you know it's just I think because of the obstacles I've had to overcome in this it's, it's it should be clear. Cheyenne's performance suffered and the judges weren't sure who to blame. He can't push the cart. Well, that was Rob. I, I, I mean, Robin's really getting in his way. Yeah, but it was like a traffic jam between Robin, the cart, his, you know, I, I, it's not for me. Robin de Jesus has issues. Um, That's putting it lightly. Yeah, I just, you know, he may be, need to be replaced at some point, too. 
Robin was there, yes, but the reality is in our show, you're gonna be dealing with Robin trying to screw up everything eight times a week. Robin was already under contract with the show, and the judges had no power to get rid of him. Were you not watching CBS on June 15th? I was nominated for a Tony, and I was in camp. Ultimately, Cheyenne proved too handsome for his own good and was eliminated. We just don't see you as the next Paragua guy. I'm sorry, you're out of business. Please turn in your apron and go. Cheyenne took his dismissal in stride, letting everyone know he still believed in his assets. I am awesome, blossom, fabulous, fantastic. Stay tuned next week for our recap of the grand finale of Legally Brown. Who will be the next Piragua guy on Broadway?